Hey, and welcome back. Here's a question. Are you ready to say goodbye to the tedious era of manual colony counting? If you're screaming yes at me right now, then you're going to love today's video. We're going to take a look at ImageJ. It's a free open source software that is packed full of image analysis features. And by the end of this tutorial, you'll be counting colonies like a pro. But before we get stuck in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We've got a lot more scientific awesomeness coming your way. Now let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to be using images taken with our high resolution imager called ConnollyCan. If you don't have one, that's not a problem, but here's a quick pro tip to achieve good quality photographs that will give you the best results in ImageJ. Ensure your plate is evenly lit and placed on a contrasting background. This will ensure a crisp image with uniform results that we know we need for that all important statistical significance. First up, let's take a look at the manual counting method. For this, you'll need the cell counter plugin. If you don't have it installed, we've linked it down below. Head over to the plugins tab and find cell counter under analyze and then press initialize to connect the counter to your image. If you need multiple counters for various phenotypes, that's not a problem. Just hit the add or remove buttons to adjust the count. In this example, we're going to go for four counters. You can also personalize your counters by renaming them. Click on your counter, hit rename and give it a name that suits the phenotype you're tracking. Start marking those colonies and if you mess up, just press the delete button and it'll undo the last move. Once you've marked all the colonies, hit results to unveil the total counts for each phenotype. If you want to save your colony counting masterpiece for data traceability, save those markers and export the image. Now that we've had a go at the manual method, let's talk automation. For this to work, we need to put the image through a couple of filters. Begin by adjusting the image to 8-bit by heading to Image, Type, and then 8-bit. We need to remove the background now, so draw a circle around the Petri dish using the Circle tool, and then go to Edit, Selector, and make inverse, and then edit and clear. Voila, your Petri dish is now ready. The next step is thresholding. Head to image, adjust, and then threshold. And here's where the fun really begins. You can press the auto button or get hands-on with manual sliders, but once you're happy with the result, hit apply. Finally, to set the shape thresholds for your colonies, go to analyze and then analyze particles. These thresholds might need a bit of tweaking based on your images, but once you're happy, press OK to reveal the results. In this example, we've got 408 colonies. And there you have it. Whether you prefer the hands-on approach or the automated wizardry that I've just shown you, ImageJ has your back. You're now armed with the skills to master colony counting. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more scientific awesomeness. Until next time, Happy counting.